In 2007, student records and registration employed just three student employees, and ironically, we didn't have enough work for them to do. In 2009, after losing two full-time employees, SRR was denied the opportunity to rehire those positions. Instead, we were asked to be one of the pioneers in using a new student employment model. A few years later, SRR had a great student employee named Alex. On Friday, she worked a full day. She graduated that evening, and on Monday, she started back in SRR as a full-time employee doing much of the same work. This initiated a new era and perspective of part-time employees. SRR now employs 60 to 70 individuals who work part-time shifts and who happen to also be students. You are capable, intelligent, innovative, and teachable. You are the backbone and the front line of essential work of this great university. We truly do depend on you. We are now ready to take another step forward. It is time for SRR to become legendary in hiring, mentoring, utilizing, and graduating student employees who fulfill the prophecy of President Henry B. Eyring, who said, those graduates of BYU-Idaho will become legendary for their capacity to build the people around them and to add value wherever they serve. We envision a day where SR employees will leave BYU-Idaho with a diploma printed by our office in one hand and an incredible resume in the other, fully prepared for wherever their future takes them. In our initial work, we have identified four pillars of employment where we, where we will focus our efforts. Natural leadership, stewardship, innovation, and being Christ-centered. Uh, the Employee Engagement Task Force was amazing. So for almost 12 weeks, I was able to, great, uh, to meet great people, uh, learn from their stories of life, and share my thoughts about the experience of working at SRR. Afterwards, I really connected well with everybody else. It was a very enjoyable experience for me. And that was probably my favorite part about it, actually, was getting to know different people and uh, just collaborating um, about the future of the SRR. It was, it was great. I was able to include my unit in, in the task force. Even though uh, it was one person from every unit, I could see how they thought and how much they involved their units. In my case, I tried to do that. I tried to gather information from my unit and their opinions and take it to the task force. And I expected the same thing from the rest of the members in it. The most important thing I learned in being a member of the SR Employment Task Force was that we can each make a difference. Help me perform better, but at the same time, knowing the big picture of it helps me uh, see why the small things I do matter. We can make a difference and we can change things. Uh, just being able to plan and actually see things go into effect, uh, that was that was great. I mean, we we made a difference with our ideas and with talking and discussing different things. Having perspective and applying it in the organization. We each have a specific role that only we can contribute. It's possible to apply the teachings of the Gospel of Jesus Christ in the work environment. One pillar that really comes to mind is being Christ-centered and we talked about it in our, in our council. Um, we focused on how you know people who are Christ-centered um, they will strive to put their best foot forward, um, not just spiritually, but in any regard. And so, thinking about it, I, I think that's something that I really want to strive to do um, and just better myself. And as well, if everybody else has that same focus, it's, they're going to want to always just put their best foot forward and try their best and to help other people. Although some people are born natural leaders, this is a skill that anybody can develop and a way that I have learned to develop more of these qualities is by finding good examples. Um, we can look up to the people who we are surrounded by and take a little bit from each of the people we are with and just expand and progress ourselves. So the four pillars, they taught me a lot. So first one, natural leaders. I learned that we can be natural leaders by developing uh, some skills and talents. Uh, the stewardship, I learned that we must be grateful for all the uh, resources we have in the office. Uh, the third one, the innovation. Uh, the world has changed, people have changed, and we must change and bring innovation to our personal lives and also to the office. Uh, and Christ-centered, well, we will only find success in our personal lives 
and in the office if we cry centered in our thoughts, desires, and actions. And I think uh, another uh, pillar that stood out to me was stewardship. One thing I never really thought about before the council was the fact that everything really is the Lord's. Um, even you know, even things we just come across from day to day, like even the buildings that we're you know we use every day, um, we take for I take I took for granted a ton. Um, but after that council, I really started thinking about everything that that comes from Heavenly Father, um, and how much of a wonderful blessing it is. And uh, if we have that mentality in the in SRR. I think it can really make a difference in how we treat everything and treat one another. And I feel really grateful for the time that I've had here so far because I feel like I've been given opportunity after opportunity that has pushed me in ways that I hadn't been pushed before and I think it's really something that's prepared me for my future probably more than anything else that I've ever done. I am so grateful for the opportunity to get to be an employee in the SRR. I think it's amazing and it for sure has taught me a lot, not only about professionalism, but in so many things that I don't need to go to advising ever because I can advise myself and I can help other people around me to just have more knowledge about how we can get to graduate and that's essentially what everyone goes to school for. I love it, honestly. Um, I think my favorite part about SRR is just feeling like I can get help from anyone and not feeling afraid to go and ask a question. There's been plenty of other jobs where um, asking questions, not that it was frowned upon, but you know, people would get irritated or people would you know, be impatient with you. Here it's just the complete opposite. It's like encouraged to ask questions and get help and uh, we can all just trust each other and help one another and I think that's probably what I love most about this job. My employment in SRR is significantly different from previous jobs that I've had because it teaches me skills that I know that are going to help me in my future. There are many jobs that people have that don't necessarily like help build them up as a person and since this is an office atmosphere we gain a lot of opportunities to network and to just know how to interact with future employers and that's why I love being an employee in the SRR. But here in SRR, I have different tasks, different projects that I can work on, and I could get good at them, which is awesome for the office and for my coordinator, but at the same time is um, a risk that I can take because then more complicated projects and more complicated tasks come to me, which is good because it's challenging. I can build my resume because of the things that I'm being put in charge of. I would say the main thing that stands out to me is that I'm challenged here a lot more than I have been in any other jobs. I had jobs where I'd just kind of wait around for customers or just wait for something to do and I didn't really feel that I was challenged or I had to really think about my job, but I feel that here I'm constantly being pushed to learn new things or to adapt to new processes that we're doing and I feel that that's something that's really been a good difference for me and that's helped me to progress in ways that I needed. I'm so thankful for the full-time employees because I feel that they want me to learn as much as I can and take these experiences to the real world. So, so far I have had some really great experiences here uh, that will help me when I leave SRR in the future. So I have attended some meetings, some really good meetings, and I felt that I was part of the meeting, not just watching the meeting, but helping with the decisions. Also, I was able to be part of some job interviews, so it was awesome to learn from um, the, the bosses here, or from Travis, you know, it was awesome, great experience. Um, is very very beneficial to me and part of the reason that I love my job is that I know that I get to help a ton of people and that when I'm here the smallest thing that I do makes an impact in someone else's day and so that just overall reminds me that in my future I just want to be able to help people and I want to make a difference in one way or another and this is just a great example of how the smallest things can help someone in more ways than you think they can. I guess it wasn't really an experience per se, um, but one thing that was kind of a really good lesson to me uh, is actually the, 
dealing with the team leads and interacting with them um, and just seeing their patience even if I had to ask the same five the same question five times um, and the way they handled it, hand, would handle it with me, um, I noticed that they were very patient and very, you know, they just wanted the best. They never looked down on me and they never made me feel stupid or made me feel afraid. So I think, um, coming back to your question, that would, I'm going to take that and be able to implement that into other parts of my life. And whenever I'm in that kind of same position where I'm training somebody or helping them, I'm going to look back at their example and think, oh, hey, I don't need to you know, get frustrated with this person, I can just be patient and, you know, support them and they're going to want to do their best anyway, so we'll just go from there. I would say the biggest thing that comes to mind is that we have experienced a lot of changes and we'll get used to one way of doing things and then it'll change and it's always hard at first, but I've been really grateful to learn how to, first of all, accept it myself and come to understand why the change was made and how I can adapt well, and then also to help other people to make those same changes. And then I'm also grateful for leadership opportunities that I've been given. I think it's given me confidence and helped me to be prepared for my future career or family or whatever may come. The experience of working at uh, SRR has been wonderful. I love working here. I have learned many things uh, that will be very important for my future career. Uh, not only technical things, but also how to behave and treat people around me. Whether formally or informally, we invite you to join us in the great work of Student Records and Registration and BYU-Idaho. Let's be legendary together.